we have had incidences where people sort of uh, trespass onto our site and we find the odd, you know, like uh, being out of place. And that w is, is expected. But this was considerably more. This was considerably more, you know, uh, and it was apparent the minute that uh, we walked into the site. It's rather disappointing after the, the big efforts that has been done up at the site, uh, the large investment that has been done to turn it into what it started looking like. So it's very disappointing to have to go up to, up there after the festivities and find that uh, somebody's been rather inconsiderate and uh, decided to damage uh, all of the hard work that has been done. Uh, the Royal Gibraltar Police was obviously carrying out a uh, a criminal investigation into the proceedings uh, and we have been asked to value the works we haven't put a value as yet to it but obviously it's it's, it's money that uh, the charity uh, didn't have you know to, to, to have to uh, put into uh, making good everything that has been damaged or, uh, at, the, at the site uh, we're conscious that uh, the site needs uh, the security aspect of it improved so we, we now need to put all, all efforts into uh, crowdfunding and, and, and launching a, a crowdfunding uh, site and hopefully see whether we can get some uh, sponsorship and some funds coming our way to be able to uh, put everything right and have that peace of mind, you know, that uh, the site is, 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 is there, you know, for all to be used, for, for young people to be used. And uh, the last thing we want is to have to sort of... Uh, put a stop to the use of the site, at least temporarily, till we make good damages, you know, that were uh, completely unnecessary.